Hey, it continues to be a really busy time for the evolution of AI and animation, and video generation is no different, with Runway ML today just releasing their new multi-motion brush tool. I've covered the motion brush in the past, and it allows you to paint on an image and try and direct some of the motion in the AI generation. And with the update to motion brush, you can now apply five coats of paint to dictate the direction of different elements in your scene. So I'm gonna quickly jump in, go through the process, and then, as I've done in other recent videos, I'm going to use different images that I've generated using Midjourney and just try out the tool and share the output. As always, please press like, subscribe, and comments. And um, you can head over to aianimation.com and register as a creative for free and build up a profile and hopefully win work via the site in the future. And if you are the creator of an AI tool, I'll soon be releasing a new AI animation directory where you can list your different bits of software and there'll be places for people to leave reviews and share videos and images and things like that. All right, and on with the video. So hopping straight into Runway ML Gen 2, I'm gonna skip over the various controls here as I've covered those in quite a few recent Runway ML related videos and jump straight into uploading a file and then using the motion brush. And I've got this cool image of a princess warrior being sucked into this neon galactic portal. And I'm gonna go ahead and press motion brush. And we're presented with a new user interface where we now have our five brushes available, those familiar direction motion sliders for horizontal, vertical, proximity, and ambient motion. And we can choose brush or arrays. And I'm gonna click on our image with brush one selected and just quickly paint around our protagonist, our princess, and set some slight horizontal motion to the left, slight upward motion, and a little bit of ambient motion, which might apply some motion to the hair or the skirt dress cloak um, and then choose motion brush 2. I'm just going to go through and pick some of these petals that are flowing out of the vortex and I'm going to add some horizontal movement to the right, slightly downward, slightly towards the camera and again adding a little bit of ambient motion so they might rotate and flutter and move around on the X, Y and Z. I'm then going to choose brush 3, increase the brush size and just paint around this vortex. If you do paint over the other colour it will replace it with your new one so you can't multi-layer motion on the same area. And I'm gonna add some proximity motion, so it's gonna to come towards the camera, move to the right, so it should move over our character or towards our character, and slide it down and increase that ambient motion, which should hopefully help increase the motion of the vortex. And I could add a brush four and a brush five, but I think we're okay for this scene. So I'm gonna press save, change to image plus description and write a quick text prompt. And I've written, Princess Ninja being sucked into wild vortex, dress and hair blow in wind, petals fall out of vortex, light rays shimmer and shine. And then lastly, I'm going to click on the camera motion and just add a little bit of a zoom out and press save and press generate. Okay, and that first output, whilst it is a cool shot, there's not actually much motion and it's not following much of what we've guided there. So I'm going to jump back in and increase the rates on those various brushes to see if it has a bigger impact. So pressing motion brush and generate again. And the updated generation's completed and it's following those motion prompts much more closely. We've got that vortex moving to the right, the character moving up through it, the petals are moving down to the right and it's generally following our direction. Yes, there's a morphing to our character and you could play around with text prompts and do multiple generations to try and improve the output Plus we are just seeing some of the quality and the problems that we see with various runway ML generations, but still very impressive. And being able to have that multi brush motion control opens up even more possibilities than before. So very, very impressive. I'm now gonna jump in and try out a selection of different images and try out the motion brush with multiple brushes applied and just see what we get. Plus I'll put on some music. Here we go.
Okay, hopefully this video and a quick exploration of the new multi-motion brush tool in Runway ML has been interesting and you've enjoyed the process and some of those cool outputs. Um, as always, please press subscribe and like and all of that and leave any comments for what you'd like to see in a future video. And yes, please head over to aianimation.com to see what's going on there. Plus keep an eye out for the new AI animation software directory, which should be going live in the next week. All right, thanks very much. Cheers. Mm -hmm.